Hi, Kelly and Bex here, and we're going to go through the next property of the Kangen water. So Kelly, can you explain to us what exactly is microclustering? Sure. Well, all um, water is in certain clusters, uh, tap water, bottled water, uh, anywhere between 15 and 30 molecules, so they're very, very large. Um, because our machine goes through an electrolysis process, it puts an electrical current through there, it's able to restructure the water, so it goes from a very big micro cluster, a macro cluster down to a micro cluster, um, right down to a hexagonal water they call it in Japan, so it's the same shape as our cells, so we're able to hydrate really, really well. So you know when you, um, well when I used to drink um, bottled water or tap water, I'd feel quite bloated, you know, you'd feel really heavy, it's because the clusters are so large that you can't um, hydrate really well, your cells can't take it and you've got excess water. So that's why when I used to be able to move my tummy and you could hear like a hot water bottle inside. Yeah, ah, absolutely. Ah, there we go. <laughs> horrible sound. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, so okay. it's restructured down yeah. to a very, you know, very small water and it's able to really penetrate and actually hydrate us so, so well. And it's able to do some really other amazing things. Um, I will show you here. Um, so I've got the tap water and I've got some very high pH 11.5 water. So with our machines we're able to change the pH. Um, so this is very um, micro-clustered water and you know, you go to the grocery store, you get your fruit and veggies and what's the first thing you do? Bring them in and wash them in tap water. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I did, used to do it too. So I'm just going to show you here and here's some cherry tomatoes we've got. And Show you with your tap water. Okay. And I'm going to show you with a very high pH water what this does. So leave that to the side actually because I want that to soak as you would usually do with your with your fruit and veggies that it soaks for you know anywhere between 10 minutes. And I'll show you the next property of the water. Okay, so Kelly's going to now show us the second example of the microclustering. We've still got our tomatoes over there just um, soaking in our tap water and our kangen water. And now we're going to use tap water and kangen water. And what have you got there, Kelly? I've got some sesame oil because this is nice and dark and you're able to see it. So I'm actually just going to go and pour that into these glasses. And I just kind of really want to prove to you just how small this water is. Okay, um, so water and oil don't mix. Not usually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, yeah. That's what that's what you expect. Yeah. Oil flat to the top. It's um it's separated. The molecules are too large, so it's not able to penetrate through. Okay. And we've got our really lovely high pH eleven point five water that we're able to put in here. Whoa. It's able to do that, which is amazing. Emulsifier. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So what? What's that good for then? Um, it is amazing for cleaning. So you oh. can see because it can break down oil and grease and grime, um, you can actually clean your oven with this. You can clean your whole house with this, go chemical free. Um, there are many uses. It's very highly anti-inflammatory as well. But um, there are many, many uses of 11.5. Which um, we'll do in a, another yeah. video. We can explain to people the, the ways that we can use that 11.5. Mm. But, wow, that's, that's, really that's, incredible. that's quite an incredible um, example of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Okay, now here's um, the third way that we can show how the microclustering works. Yeah, sure. So, you know, when you make a cup of tea, you usually need to boil the jug. Um, that'll change you know, it'll microcluster the water down, so that's how we're able to get all the flavours out of our, our tea bags. Um, but here's some tap water, it's just cold. I'm just going to put it in those two glasses there. Here's our Kangen water 9.5 that would make some make um, our teas with. Okay. Right, so we'll grab the tea bag, this is Dilma green tea. I'm going to use the same tea bag so we can see what happens here. Okay, so into the cold tap water first. Yep. And I might get this one. <laughs> That's right. We can see here. Oh, there we so go. So we can see, you know, we can't get too much flavour out. No, it's um, not much happening there. Not much happening there. 
Here's our conga Oh, wow, look at that. Yep. Amazing. Here's our tap water. Here's our conga water. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. You can actually make 30 cups of teas out of one tea bag if you wanted to yeah. save some money. <laughs> Wow. But um, yeah, the really neat thing about this is that you can really see how it can really draw the flavours out, and that's just with cold water. Um, so you imagine when you cook with it, our water is so microclustered that it's already 30% there before you even started to cook with it. So you're able to keep all the nutrients in your food when you cook, and um, it's going to be a lot better for you. So it's uh, pretty amazing. Fantastic. So let's see what's happened to these. Yeah. Yeah. These so our tomatoes that we put in earlier have been soaking for about five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So here's our, our tap water. So I'm just going to see what came off those tomatoes. So this is we bring these home and wash our veggies. And, yeah. Um, okay. That's right. And here's our, Ooh. our pangan water. Ooh. <laughs> oh. So that's pretty amazing. You can just see there just how, how much has come off. And that'll be the the herbicides, the pesticides, you know, they're all oil based. So everything now we know is so sprayed, so sprayed, and um, and so that film doesn't come off when you um, do it in natural in tap water. Do they taste different? They do. Taste. Would you like to try them? Okay, that's the so I can't then. Okay. Yeah. So because it's so small, it's able to really, really break the oils and the pesticides really out and take it off. Really sweet. Mm. Really juicy and really yeah. sweet. I don't know that I even want to. <laughs> yeah, you might want to see me about this. It tastes, does taste like They're even tougher to get through. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. really sour and yucky. It's That's... a huge, yeah, are you, sorry, I usually have a seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, that is, is the difference, and I mean, that's what you're usually doing. But you know, you've got to think too, um, we can buy organic, you know, that's wonderful. But yeah. the thing is, we don't know what's going on with the environment. Um, you know, there could be sprays coming over and that. But you know, the usual thing to do is, you know, people will grow their own or buy organic and they'll come in and they'll wash their vegetables to get the dirt off. But all that adding in there is more chemicals. But then when you boil it. Water, and then you boil it and you cook with it. You cook the exactly. vegetables in... Yeah, yes. so you've ruined something that was really good before and just contaminated it really. So that's yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's the power of that. 